But did she in fact enter a powerlifting competition? And yes, yes she did. She benched 110 kilograms, 242 pounds in a legit drug tested powerlifting competition. Problem is, Coach Greg and whatever happened to that 13 year old Russian girl who benched 240 pounds? Did you see that video? Well, 15 million people watch it as well as the people who are in attendance. It was on Dana Lynn Bailey's channel. And no, it's not clickbait. She actually did it 13 years old, bench press 240 pounds raw. No bench press shirt, her own power. And yeah, you can argue she had an arch and a wide grip. So what? She literally benched 240. And so whatever happened to this girl? And so to answer this question, I'm watching Lifting Vault, a great channel if you're into powerlifting and watching people lift crazy heavy weights. What happened to the 13 year old girl that benched 240 pounds? And so Mariana Nomova became famous. Everyone knew who she was in the powerlifting world. Look at the strength of this girl. And following that at the age of 14, she bench pressed even more, got stronger. And so at the age of 14, she went on to bench 245 and then 255 pounds raw, no shirt, unassisted, all on her own. And following this, she bench pressed 310 pounds. But listen, that was with the assistance of a bench press shirt. And so although it looks cool in the title, 14 year old girl bench presses 310 pounds, that's with the aid of a bench press shirt. And I watched the video, doesn't even touch the chest. And so personally, I'm more impressed by the fact she bench pressed 255 pounds the normal way with no bench pressure helping you then 310 pounds going a couple inches from her chest. So she's got several spotters, a bed press shirt on, a belt pulling her shirt down, already have a can of protein pudding on her chest. She lowers the bar, touches the protein pudding, and bench presses it up. 310 pounds, remarkable. But listen, the 255 pounds raw bench, that's enough. And so at 14 years of age, she's benching 255. Unbelievable. Put your hands together for young Mariana. She is the epitome of MHP Strong. And so she's the epitome of MHP Strong. She gets up on the bench, hands in the air. Yeah, I did it. I'm the best. I'm awesome. Even Speed Eater Furious Pete shocked at how much he can lift, saying this is a legitimate lift, which technically it isn't because it touched a protein pudding. It wasn't to her chest. Got to be honest. But it is, in fact, remarkable. 310 pounds by a 14-year-old girl. That, that makes me and a lot of people embarrassed to even left. And so he says, hey, it makes me and others embarrassed because, you know, a 14-year-old girl is benching this much. And personally, I don't like that. I don't like people to compare themselves to others. Just because a 14-year-old girl can bench press more than you doesn't mean you should be ashamed of yourself and that you should give up lifting. Compete with yourself. Try to be the best that you can be. But I get it. He's just trying to brag her up saying, look, this girl, incredible. And so did she ever do these lifts in a legit powerlifting competition? After all, it's one thing to lift in the gym with people cheering for you without strict judging. But did she in fact enter a powerlifting competition? And yes, yes, she did. She benched 110 kilograms, 242 pounds in a legit drug tested powerlifting competition. Problem is, failed the drug test. And so sad to see that a 14 year old girl would fail a drug test. And so she was banned from powerlifting competitions because she failed a drug test. Hi guys, and 1.7% girls. And welcome back to Lifting Vault. And I love Lifting Vault's introduction. He says, hi guys, and 1.7% girls. What that means is 98.3% of his audience is men. So hardly any girls watching his lifting. Why is that? Come on, girls, go and follow Lifting Vault. It's not just a channel for guys. Girls, guys, circles, go watch his channel. And the last time she competed now was two years ago, but she always remained significantly weaker than when she was 13, 14 years old. And so following that ban, once it was all over, she did in fact get back into powerlifting. And how much did she bench this time natural? 
203 pounds at a much older age. And so unfortunately, it wasn't the best story. She didn't go on to set ridiculous records in the sport of powerlifting. I 100% thought that this girl was going to grow up, bench three, four, maybe even 500 pounds. Who knows? To be able to lift that much at such an early age, she had so much more lifting in the tank. But when you use PDs at such an early age, it advances your strength to that of a grown adult. And take away those PDs, you can see you don't keep all that strength. Think of it, if you could keep all the strength gains from PDs, then she would have taken these 13, 14 years of age, stopped, and as she became an adult, she would have continued on to get stronger, or at least maintain the strength that she had as a 13 year old. But no, even at a much older age, she's still significantly weaker than she was as even a 13 year old. And before you start saying, oh, what a cheater, she shouldn't have done this, shame on her. How do we know it was her? Was it her that decided to take these things? Or was it perhaps her parents, her coaches? We just don't know. When you're 13, 14 years of age, do you really have the ability to make these kind of decisions? And you could see just how excited, happy this girl was to be lifting all this weight, being cheered on by thousands of fans. And so you can see the pressure to be amazing, to stand out from the crowd, to be the best, the pressure is strong. And it's only getting worse. In today's world, with social media, everyone is trying to post and get recognized, noticed. And so the pressure to use PDs, it's greater than ever before. And so this might in fact be a similar case to the young Hercules. You remember that little boy, six, seven, eight years of age, had muscles everywhere, a six pack, parents weren't letting him eat pizza and other foods. And we do believe that he was in fact being given anabolics in his protein shakes, given these drugs without his consent. And think of it, the kid was under 10 years of age. What would he have known? He wouldn't know, he would just assume, I'm just really good, I'm doing this. But the parents slipping him a little bit of extras in the drinks to try to get him ahead, and so a lot of this happens in the real world. I've literally had phone consult in the past where parents are trying to find out what PDs to give to their young kids. Young teens who their parents think they're doing the best for their kid. I'm trying to help my son or daughter. I want them to get ahead. I want them to make the Olympics, to go to university and excel, to get a career in the NFL or NBA. Teenagers are way too young to be using PDs. And I'm not saying we should ever be using them, but certainly I'm sure everyone can agree that teenagers, you're too young. You need to wait until you're an adult. You should not be making decisions like this that can affect you for the rest of your life. And so if you're a teenager watching this, or perhaps you're following a celebrity, bodybuilder, powerlifter, or athlete of any kind, and you're aspiring to look like them and you know that they took PDs, please don't do it. I know it's tempting, but wait. Wait as long as possible, if ever, before ever deciding to take PDs. And if you do decide to, please educate yourself as much as possible. Go see a doctor, find out the pros and the cons. The pros sound great. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get bigger, stronger, gonna look better. But what about the cons? What are the negative implications? What can this actually do that will harm me? And when you're young, you think you're invincible. Trust me, I was young, thought I was invincible, could do anything. Nothing gonna hurt me, only happened to those people over there. But when you get older, you'll look back and you'll most likely have certain regrets and think, oh geez, I wish I hadn't have done that. I wish I'd thought twice. It's tempting right now, but please reconsider, try to stay natural, Ending it here. And of course, natural supplements from harder than last time, including the newest one, GO2 Max, as well as beta alanine. Those are available. Click the link in the description. Also, the Circle Diet Book, the cookbooks, coaching plans by me and my team. Please watch the bloops. Don't forget those. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I am out.